So next, I'd like to welcome Dana Masora to the stage. Dana works for the CFlex Consortium, which is a cross-value chain collaboration trying to build a circular economy for flexible plastics. Dana. Thank you, Tim, and thank you for inviting us here today. I'm going to start with a question. From all of you here, you're many. Who knows already what is CFlex? Just hands up. Not a lot. So I'm going to invite you to watch a little movie. Flexible packaging is an important part of our modern world. It protects food and other goods and is generally made of plastics, but can also include other materials such as paper or aluminium foil. This helps ensure products reach consumers safe and fresh, preserving nutrition, taste and quality. It reduces waste of the goods it protects and often uses far less material than alternative packaging. Being very light and thin, flexible packaging reduces the environmental impact of transportation. The qualities that make it so useful, lightweight and resource efficient also present a challenge. The financial incentives for collection and recycling of post-consumer flexible packaging are currently less compelling when compared to many heavier packaging alternatives. And like all products, when disposed incorrectly, it can end up as litter. Many companies and organizations associated with flexible packaging in Europe recognize the need to transform the linear economy of take, make and dispose and have taken leadership to address this challenge by joining the C-Flex initiative to deliver a circular economy for flexible packaging. The circular economy we are committed to being part of avoids waste and pollution by redesigning consumer flexible packaging and also provides appropriate collection and recycling infrastructure in all European countries. This will enable used flexible packaging to be cost effectively recovered and the resources returned to the economy to be used again and again. CFlex is a growing collective of over 130 companies and organizations representing all parts of the value chain connected to flexible packaging. Our aim is to enable collection of all flexible packaging and recycle 80% of it into new valuable materials, becoming either new packaging or flowing back into the wider circular economy. Our vision is a Europe where flexible packaging is integral to a truly circular and sustainable future. Together, this is our mission circular to create multiple lives for flexible packaging materials. Okay, so hopefully you know a little bit more about who we are and what we do. And the fact that I'm gonna re really focus on flexible packaging in this short presentation. So uh, we did this movie in uh, July, June. Today we are over 140 companies in this consortium. It's growing at a scary pace. And this is simply because we're covering the entire value chain. Uh, we have 80% of the film producers for packaging and converters in Europe. We have four out of the five global uh, brand owners. We have four out of the six global producers of polyolefins. We have many of the world leading uh, recyclers, waste management companies, uh, companies involved into um, the real end of life of packaging with a total combined turnover in terms of uh, participation in CFLEX of over 1.2 billion trillion dollar, uh, euro, not dollars. Um, and it's not a typo, over 1.3 trillion. So we're talking really about a very powerful consortium. And moreover, we're talking about a consortium which really embraced what uh, the movie um, position as our mission circular. We are working against the goal that by 2025, Europe would really have the collection of the entire flexible packaging put on the market, and 80% of that packaging returning as waste will actually return into the economy. So um, to get there, 
to attain that um, goal, the strategy is uh, really to deliver on the fact that all flexible packaging will be designed so that after use, it can be collected, sorted, and recycled. And in the meantime, we're focusing on really identifying new sustainable end markets, which will take all this new volume of recycled packaging. Ambition is pretty, pretty high, and to get there, as a consortium, we are really set up for action by having um, dividing our efforts into seven different work streams, work streams which are taken one by one, the technical challenges which are in front of flexible packaging towards a circular economy, and addressing them with uh, coming up with technical solutions. So I'm going to talk about this. Uh, a big achievement, and we're really very comfortable today having uh, been um, in this position, is the fact that we have a clear roadmap towards a circular economy of flexible packaging for Europe. Uh, a roadmap which uh, consists really in five steps to get us there, which has been agreed by the entire value chain through the participation of the representatives into our consortium. And it's also a detail in the sense of what action each of the different members of the value chain, participants at different levels of the value chain, will have to put in place to get up there. So here are the five steps. Number one, make sure that all flexible packaging is separately collected for sorting and recycling. Let's be very clear that today in Europe, all packaging is being collected. But is it collected to be sorted and recycled? That's really the challenge. Number two, recognizing that about 80% of flexible packaging is monomaterial, either polyethylene or polypropylene, or a combination of these polyolefins, therefore technically possible to recycle, we had established as important milestones that this 80% of flexible packaging is going to be collected and sorted into mono streams, such as it can be effectively recycled. Three step, redesign the rest, which is represented by the multi-materials flexible packaging, there where it's possible into monomaterial type of structures without compromising on the performance requirements for that packaging, such as it can be recycled as much as possible. Four step develop solutions, technical solutions, and the capabilities to sort and recycle the remaining multimaterial flexible packaging. And last, the fifth but not least, is to identify, to demonstrate, and prove new existing, uh, new or develop existing sustainable end markets for applications in such a way that all flexible packaging or 80% of flexible packaging can indeed return to the economy, as I said before. So I'm going to now highlight to you what did achieve so far um, on, on our roadmap in, and in, in uh, the type of projects which we are managing on the different work streams. Design guidelines for a circular economy, we consider as CFLEX that it's going to be the most substantial, awaited for, and important deliverable for the consortium. We're talking here about design guidelines for flexible packaging. Jan has mentioned Reciclas, a very important initiative in which all pack, uh, plastic packaging is being integrated. We're focusing on one part of it, flexible packaging. And obviously, in collaboration and seeking um, alignment and synergies with the other type of design guidelines which exist on the market or are being developed, our aim is to come up next year with design guidelines which will be recognized by the entire market and will be 
will really become the market standard for the design of flexible packaging. In addition to the design guidelines, we are working on developing an assessment tool which can be used by designers, by converters, by brand owners in the development of packaging, such as everything which is put on the market is being in line with the requirements for the circular economy. And uh, last would be the, a process to future proof any new packaging development uh, with um, a, an approach which recognizes that the design guidelines also have to evolve. And they have to evolve because always innovation and new technologies would bring new possibilities in terms of recycling a given structure. It's great to have design guidelines. It's great to have recyclable packaging. We believe that the only way we can reach the objectives would be if there, is, there are enough valuable and markets for um, the recyclates coming from uh, flexible packaging. So uh, there is quite a lot of effort put by the different stakeholders in the consortium around the questions of which are the most valuable end markets which can absorb as much as possible of that material. So we're doing this through collaboration and we're doing this through really looking at technologies which exist but they might not be mainstream and once they become mainstream or further developed can really help recycle more, can really help recycle better. Um, in this respect, we are quite advanced in designing processes in which we can get higher quality recycled polyethylene, higher quality recycled PP, uh, polypropylene, film grades, um, and, and always starting from post-consumer recyclates. So we're really in the focus of C-Flex, we're working with the packaging which has been used by the consumers, disposed in a yellow bag, yellow bin, or any alternative in other countries system of collection, to truly post-consumer recyclate. If you want to know more and more concretely about our advance, I invite you, in case you visit Keisho, to visit our stakeholders who are are uh, going to display at Keisho concrete examples and the samples of such packaging applications, non-food packaging applications, using recyclates which are issued of this work stream. I already uh, touched on the facilitating technologies uh, before, but this is really um, our um, focus in looking what exists on the market and it's probably in a startup phase, has potential for um, maximizing the possibilities of recycling flexible packaging. And by working with these technology providers, we believe that by the power of the consortium having so many stakeholders of the entire value chain, we can help accelerate the development of these technologies. Digimark. We're big believers in the value of Digimark as a technology to help separate, for instance, different types of multi-material, multi-layer flexible packaging. Cadell Banking. Uh, obviously, flexible packaging is almost always printed, which can be a problem for recycling. So we are working with Cadell, and I'm very happy to see that it's one of the finalists, actually specifically in their uh, new, um, new R&D work for delamination and the inking for flexible packaging. Saperatec, another interesting technology which has the potential to separate aluminum containing flexible packaging, believed as non-recyclable today. We're going to have to see if technically this is possible with post-consumer recyclates of flexible packaging. And last but not least, quite important, we believe that chemical recycling has a real uh, place 
and a real role to play to complement mechanical recycling for flexible packaging. So we are engaging as well as a consortium uh, such as we can help in the right way the acceleration of this technology to become mainstream. All this is great, a lot of R&D work. We all know that um, a lot of technologies exist and the question is always who can pay for it? How much does it cost? Does it make sense business-wise? So with an approach of really demonstrating the potential business case for any new technology or for any new recycling process, which can become the result of the work in one of our work streams, we are developing a tool which would enable to come up with a business case for investment considering the environmental and economical characteristics and elements of any new proposal we will bring to the market. In addition to this, sometimes next year, we're going to start piloting uh, our recommendations, such as we can um, come up with the actual life proof of concept for the recommendations which will be brought for um, more recycling for the circular economy of flexible packaging. So this is our mission circular. This is how we see delivering. And if I want you to leave um, today with one thing about CFLEX, this is collaboration of the entire value chain. Because when CFLEX was to put together three years ago, this was the most innovative thing brought up by, by CFLEX. It was to bring together the truly entire value chain of flexible packaging to tackle what we thought at the time impossible challenges. This is our mission circular. Thank you.